In this video, I will show you how to create the custom Ajax form in a Drupal. In the last video, we have seen how to create the custom form using the Drupal. And in that uh, form, we have added these fields, four fields, first name, last name, employee, email and the employee zip code. And uh, on click of this save button, we save this data into the table. And I will add those video links in the description so that you can refer those videos now to create the ajax form first we will go to the, our custom module my custom model name is the employee in the src slash form folder create the one file and i will give that file name as the employee ajax form dot php inside the file we will first create the namespace the namespace is drupal your model name our model name is employee form now i will include some classes which are required for the form first is the form base so path for that class is drupal dash core slash form and the form base next is the form state interface drupal core form slash form state interface to add the ajax functionality inside our form we need to include the one more class that is the ajax response so use drupal dash core ajax and the ajax response and one more class we need to use that is the html command so that is required to show the messages into the our html to save our time i will copy the uh, form elements from the this existing form this custom form and we'll do the changes as per the requirements which are required for the ajax form i will explain the all those things step by step first we have created a class our class name is, should be the employee ajax form we'll change that class name and extend the, this form base uh, our form name will be the employee ajax next is the we have created here form using the build form function in that uh, first is the employee first name field the type of that field is a text field title for that field is first name and this field is required and the max length equal to 30 same for the last name this is the text field its title is the last name and uh, it is also required field and the max length is 30 and for the email the type of that field is the email and title is the employee email this field is also required and max length is 100 and last one is the employee zip also the text field and title is the employee zip code it is also required and max length is the 6 now we will change the submit button to the normal button and its type is equal to button and its value is a save and uh, below that we will add the callback ajax function for that we need to add the attribute ajax and the callback attribute and the method name so on click of this save button this method will get called or method name submit data now we don't require this validation functions so i will remove this code from this submit form function i will remove this code as well because i will write all this logic inside the 
this uh, new created function submit data function so for that i will create the one function public function submit submit data and inside the, this function we need to add these parameters array ampersand dollar form comma form state interface dollar form underscore state now here we will create the one object for the ajax response class equal to new ajax response before adding the whole logic we will check if this form is working or not for that i will create one more new dollar form element hash type equal to markup we will add the one div here and inside that div on click of the save button we will show one message hash markup div plus equal to success and close this div to access this form we need to add this form url into the routing for that open the employee.routing yaml file we'll create the new routing for this form we'll copy the this existing one just paste and change the name it to the ajax form employee and the path will be the employee ajax data title employee ajax form and our class name is the employee ajax form save it clear the cache the cache is cleared now now go to the browser and open the, this newly created route employee ajax data here you can see the form is created now we will show one message here when we click on this save button so for that go to the employee ajax form now we will add the one message inside that div for that uh, write the ajax response add command new html command and then in which div or the in which div we want to show the message our div class name is a success i will copy this class name we'll add that here with the class and in in that i want to show one message like form submitted successfully add the semicolon now return this ajax response variable dollar ajax response save this page and go to the browser refresh the page and now click on this save button so on the click of this save button you can see the form is submitting using the ajax and we are getting this message that form is submitted successfully now we will save the this form fields into the this table so for that we will write the code we can go to the file now inside this function we will write the functionality to save this data into the database so for that first we need to include the one more class that is the use drupal code database this is required to create the database connection so that we will be able to save our data into the table so i will copy the same code which was used in the existing form to save this data I will explain this code what was written inside this first we have created one object for this database connection after that we got the all form values inside this form field and again we assign all those values to the this array form data array 
and after that we pass this data form data to the query which is used to insert the data and this is the query which is used to insert the data into the table now again i will go to the my form and refresh it so you can see inside the table there are only three entries right now i will submit one more data test test last name test at the test.com and the zip code now we will click on this save button so uh, we are getting this message data is submitted successfully now we will go to the table and will check if the data is inserted or not you can see that the data is inserted again i will add the one more data dummy dummy data again i will click, again, I will click on the save button so it will save our data using the ajax into the table we will replace this again so this data is also inserted into the table i hope this video is useful for you please consider subscribing the channel so that you will get notified whenever i create the new content if you have any query or suggestion you can ask me in the comments thank you